Hello and welcome. This is Roofmonger. I suppose I should say Goofalronger, uh, because I am on my PC version recording from my laptop right now, as I am away visiting family in Quebec. But uh, this is an issue. I've gotten a lot of PMs, DMs, everything in between about this, so I figure let's talk about this. Uh, if you're not aware, Dragon Ball Fighters tournaments, some of them have been at risk, and basically Dragon Ball Fighters has been pulled from the Greater Fighting Game Tournament. Uh, there's not really a lot of details going on what's exactly happening here and the tournament organizers themselves are not really opening up to what's going on. But if you're not aware, originally this happened uh, I believe at the beginning of November, uh, Jibaley mentioned that uh, DreamHack Atlanta would be pulling their Dragon Ball Fighter support. Now it was uh, not a very highly attended tournament but he said it had nothing to do with uh, attendees. He just said it was circumstances beyond his control and people were like, oh that's weird and we kind of moved on. And then came uh, Evil Japan. Now, Evo Japan is basically trying to be an offshoot of, uh, you know, the giant Evo tournament, right? Although, obviously, with a more Japanese flair. And Dragon Ball Fighters will also not be there. Now, Dragon Ball Fighters is not the only game not attending. Uh, Smash Ultimate will also not be at Evo Japan. And that one raised a few eyebrows. So, uh, looks like someone on the Dragon Ball Fighters end and uh, Nintendo specifically basically said no to uh, their games showing up there. And now, once again, that's kind of a weird side marketing experience, to be honest with you. So two things fine, but now we got the third strike here. And that Anime Ascension, which is run by Axis Games, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters will no longer be part of their fighting game tournament coming up soon. So now, you know, we've got a lot of things going on. Like, what's going on? This is obviously not every single tournament, right? Like, uh, NEC went by fine, no hitches, right? Uh... Kumite in Tennessee, they have openly said there's no issue, there's nothing going on, it's fine. And there's a lot of tournaments, you know, that happen all the time and nothing's happening. So why are these three? What's going on? Well, that's kind of the thing. I'm not sure what's going on. A lot of people are not sure what's going on. A lot of people are playing the blame game. So if we look at the blame game, let's just go down the list. Is this Arc System Works fault? The people who actually make the game? No, of course not. They only make fighting games for the most part. Uh, their games have been featured like for the last, you know, God, like almost 20 years now in just various tournaments, right? Like, why would it be an issue now? I can't see it being them. Is it Namco Bandai? They are the publisher of Dragon Ball Fighters. Well, uh, considering they run their own esports bracket, you know, and uh, obviously uh, promote Tekken 7, all that kind of stuff, I, it'd be absolutely boneheaded for them to be, have any kind of issue with it. Now, here's where I see a lot of fingers getting pointed at is uh, Toei. Now, Toei, despite a uh, common misconception, actually does not own Dragon Ball. Uh, they only own the rights to the animation, the anime of Dragon Ball. That is it. That is all. The actual owner of the Dragon Ball IP, IP, and license and all that kind of stuff is Shueisha. They are the actual owners of the Dragon Ball franchise. So, does Toei have the, uh, the power to shut down the video game end of things? Well, not really, but now that said... Uh, I still would not be surprised at that sim because they've been proven to be very belligerent, very aggressive in the past. Uh, if you're aware of our friends over at Team Four Star, they basically have like almost their yearly emergency where Toei tries to shut them down, right? Uh, so would Toei be overstepping their bounds and trying to mess with the uh, fighting game market? Hey, it's possible. They've done stupid stuff before, right? Uh, but yeah, once again, Toei does not own... Uh, Dragon Ball at all, the license. They only own the anime rights. Uh, uh, Bandai Namco licenses Dragon Ball from Shueisha, not from Toei at all. Uh, so right now we're just kind of waiting to see who's at blame. Once again, I don't think it's Arxis Works or Namco Bandai at all. Uh, Namco Bandai is definitely against their interests. They want to foster an esports scene, right? So Shueisha, they've never really you know, put their foot down on much before. Toei, definitely very belligerent, very aggressive in the past, and maybe overstepping their bounds. I am not a lawyer by any way, stretch or form. All I know is they don't own anything other than the anime rights, so they definitely don't have uh, no say when it comes to the video games. And yeah, I guess it's just kind of wait and see mode. Uh, people like Mr. Wizard put out that, oh, Dragon Ball might be one and done at EVO, and that's hyperbole, be honest with you. If you're not aware how uh, Mr. Wizard operates, He's really big on hyperbole and, you know, getting drama going his way. So I'm not too worried about that. Dragon Ball Fighters was the most attended game at last year's Evo. And I'm not worried in the least that's going to be there next year as well. But it does go to show at some point along the supply chain line, something's going on. It's obviously not happening across the board. Because once again, this is only now three tournaments that have been affected. Uh, and Anime Ascension and DreamHack Atlanta are very small deals. 
Uh, Evo Japan is, well, once again, I think it's more of a marketing tournament than anything else, but it is still a decently sized deal. Uh, and obviously Nintendo has also had issue with it, but uh, do I think this is doom and gloom for the future of Dragon Ball? Absolutely not. Uh, I've seen a lot of the hyperbole, a lot of people freaking out that Dragon Ball Fighter's done. I am not even worried in the least, personally. Uh, but I do think it's somewhere on, uh, over on some corporate end, basically uh, trying to flex on someone in some sort of weird power play. And I don't know what an end it is because the people who do know on the tournament end are not pointing fingers. So hmm, I just not sure where it is. But once again, uh, we've had like NEC that ran fine. Kumite in Texas is going to be fine. Um, no one else has really brought this up in any way, shape or form. Now, if it is continuing to be an issue, then I guess we'll find out. But at that point, if it continues to be an issue at that point, I'm pretty sure that at least people are going to start pointing fingers. So at least we can have an idea as a people uh, what's going on. But yeah, if you want to voice your displeasure at this act, the only thing I can say is, you know, um, please contact uh, Namco Bandai so they can apply pressure to whoever is doing this on uh, definitely not on their behalf. You are absolutely well within your rights to be angry at this because this is some bullheaded. This is some BS to be honest with you, right? Uh, this is a complete BS move by whoever is perpetrating it. Uh, but at the moment, we just don't have all the details. But uh, I just want to say this is my point of view right now. Once again, this is not a doom and gloom thing. I'm not worried for the future of the game. The game is very successful. It's basically the most successful Dragon Ball game ever made for the most part. Um, and I'm not worried about the game's future at all, but this is definitely a big roadblock. This is definitely unfortunate news. And all we hope uh, is find out identifying what is the issue and who is the belligerent party in this matter and figure out what they're actually trying to pull here. Because if they're trying to pull a big stun to get pulled from tournaments, they're doing an awful job at it because it's going to keep happening, right? So it basically just comes down to, I think this is just some weird power play on some end of the corporate level, probably still at Toei, even though once again, they don't really have much of a say in the matter. At least they shouldn't. I don't know what the contract deals look like, but uh, yeah, it's just it's some rotten news all around. So if you didn't know, now you know. But once again, please don't freak out too much because I don't think in the end it will be that big of a deal. Uh, but I guess right now we're just in wait and see mode. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, I just uh, once again, I got so much messages about this. I figure I had to make the video. Uh, so here it is. And that's it for the video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some Dragon Ball.